So let's talk about what happens when AI automation agencies actually follow their own advice and automate their um, outbound outreach, their prospecting and all of that stuff. The truth is, the sad truth is, majority of agencies don't even follow the practices that they're setting up for their clients and everything. Uh, we do manual prospecting, manual outreach, manual DMs, like you see all of these YouTube videos telling people to send out 200, 300 DMs per day, uh, take the weekend and start scraping a list of leads manually from websites and all of that extra stuff, and then start compiling the list and start emailing them. And, and then you got some of the other treacherous ones that's like demonic almost that tell you to start picking up the phone and cold call these people manually now that's scary as hell what do i mean by that okay well first of all it's a cold call meaning they have no idea who you are like even back in the day when i did what you would consider cold calls i did something called voicemail calls meaning <clears throat> I had time, enough time to dig up dirt on my so-called prospect or potential client. I wasn't put on the spot. I wasn't uh, at the mercy of if they were going to hang up on me or not like that. Uh, what I was doing was I was waiting. And then a lot of you guys, you will cold call like at nighttime or around 5 p.m., 6 p.m. or something like that. That's wrong. That's not how you're supposed to do it if you are going to cold call in the first place. <laughs> you're supposed to wait until like an hour before business starts, right? Get them while they're in a good mood. Uh, you know, so what I would do is I would wait an hour to 30 minutes before the business actually opens and I would uh, leave a voicemail. Why? Because I know that they just got in and all of you guys cold called them last night. So I don't want my stuff getting buried under all of those other voicemails and everything like that. So what I do is I call them or and leave a voicemail early in the morning when they're fresh, when they're happy, when they just left from the wife at the house or whatever. They haven't been prospected to all day yet and everything. And I'll hit them with my irresistible offer or the pain points or whatever, what I wanted to do. But anyway, those are back in the day. What I'm talking about now is what can actually help you and benefit you if you are, um, an AI automation agency or SMMA agency, SEO agency, or any type of marketing agency, guys. Uh, we should be following the practices that we're plugging in for our so-called clients and partners. Um, what I mean by that is your prospecting methods. Why are you picking up the phone and manually cold calling one at a time or something like that when there are softwares out there such as Ringless Voicemail Blast? You say, oh, well, why would I do a ringless voicemail blast? I can't make it. I can't make it personalized to them. That doesn't matter, guys. You guys are reading from a script when you call them. I've been watching the videos. You're reading from a script. It's not it's barely personalized. You can take a few pain, uh, pain points that will qualify or, or pertain to the masses, you know, of who you're reaching out to and blast out that same voicemail clip to thousands of prospects at one time. You're going to get a higher percentage of people to respond than if you just were calling 200 people per day or something like that. That's a freaking headache. Y'all making my head hurt, guys. All right, go to ProfitPositionAndAgency.com. You'll see how I format my offers, my agency offers and everything like that. And um, <clears throat> it'll, it'll pretty much let you know what's going on. But if you automated your prospecting, then your inbound would be easier because then you'll be able to automate your inbound. What I mean by that. So let's say we do ringless voicemail blast. We got Facebook ads going. But what we do is we have an affiliate army. We have an army of affiliates that are going to do use their time, money, ad budgets, efforts, social media accounts, and all of that stuff to promote our offers. So when the inbound starts coming in, guess what? Let's say you got a call tracking number and those potential clients call that 800 number back. You set up an IVR. The IVR has prompts in there. So when they press one, they automatically get text a booking calendar they press two they can leave a voicemail message press three they can be text the website to go look at testimonials press four they can be taken off the list so outbound is automated 
inbound is automated as well. They can actually make a payment through the booking calendar as well so that you don't even have to get on a call to do the close if they're actually serious about it. And if they do need to speak, then we create something like a webinar and talk to everybody at once, once per week or twice per week, and then close everybody or get all the no's at once at least. So if AI automation agencies follow their own practices, that is what that's what it would look like. You would have way more time, way more effort, way more freedom, way more love for what you're doing. My bad, y'all. Is, I'm in Panama. There's a whole bunch of freaking species of weird critters out here trying to attack me. I was just trying to get out of the house, get a little bit of air or air because I'm from St. Louis. Uh, it's crazy amounts of dragonflies just flying back and forth. Look like Jurassic Park might be heading in in a minute because i don't deal with all the bugs all right so but y'all get what i'm saying like that's that's what an ai automation agency is supposed to look like your outbound your prospect and all of that like how you get your lists that's supposed to be automated how you uh how you do the outbound outreach to the list supposed to be automated think about it i know it's i know it didn't click for a few of y'all right now listening like damn hold on I'm about to go and set up chat bots and Facebook ads and all of this stuff for these clients, but I'm not even doing none of that stuff for me. Oh, imagine how fast your agency will grow if you did that stuff for you, right? Okay.